All right, folks, this week we are back down in the Texas brush country. Now, we've been down here for the last couple of weeks hunting hogs and javelina, and we've had some great times and good success. We've been able to get a hog on the ground with a stick bow, a javelina, both of which are an abundant source of wild protein, which, in my opinion, are underutilized and underappreciated. Both the hog hunt and the javelina hunt are shown in previous videos, so be sure to scroll back in the feed and check those out. We've cooked up some great meals with species that don't really get the credit they deserve when it comes to the dinner table. But this week, we're going a little bit farther out on the spectrum of wild game cooking. Stick around to see what we've got in store. Texas brush country is unique to say the least, and you gotta learn to watch where you step because everything will either bite you, scratch you, or poke you. So we're down here in South Texas. We're looking at the Rio Grande and Mexico right there. Now this hunt started out like the others early morning stalking the cactus flats looking for hogs and javelina but as you'll see later on in this video plans changed One of the great things about hunting South Texas is you don't ever know what you're going to find. You're just as likely to see white-tailed deer, hogs, javelina, bobcats, mountain lions, and then there's always a chance of running across an escaped exotic like awdad, fallow deer, black buck. You never know what you're going to find. It's a crazy place to hunt. This is kind of a fun fact about javelina is they were once heavily 
commercially hunted for their hides because apparently a javelina hide is some of the best leather in the world for gloves. They still make very high-end gloves with javelina. I thought that was kind of interesting. Maybe I'll make some gloves if I can get one. So I know a lot of people that watch this are going to see me shoot that cat and not understand what's going on. First of all, let me say that I'm going to eat that cat. I've never had 
cat. Oh, I've had mountain lion, which is fantastic. Most people can't understand that you actually eat these animals. Um, and so we're going to, I'm going to skin that animal out. I'm going to use this hide. We're going to eat the, uh, eat the cat. I've been hunting, I'm 42 years old. I've been hunting all my life. I've never got a shot at a bobcat. So that's pretty freaking awesome. We're gonna have some bobcat tacos. The prevailing idea among non-hunters is that bobcats are a rare species, but that couldn't be farther from the truth. In Texas alone, there's an estimated two to 300,000 bobcats, with the highest densities being in the southern part of the state where we're hunting. All right, so I've got two different kinds of meat here. This is wild pig and this is bobcat and it looks almost identical the only difference that i can see is that the bobcat is very lean it doesn't have any fat on the outside like the pork does but i've had mountain lion i've never had bobcat uh, everybody says that it tastes like lean pork so we're going to give it a try so what we're going to do is put it in a pot with a lid on it and we're going to put a little bit of seasoning on there put a little stock in this pot then we're going to throw it in the oven, 200 degrees, 8 to 10 hours, and it's going to fall off the bone. All right, so Bobcat is finished cooking. I uh, ran out of time yesterday, so I just went ahead and took this whole pot and stuck it in the refrigerator. So everything's cold now. I'm just going to debone and shred this meat, uh, put it in a bag, and then I think Liz is going to end up making some enchiladas with it, and I'm super excited about that. But it looks really good. Just gonna take and pull all of this off the bone and get it ready for her. I mean, it looks it looks almost identical to pork. I don't think you could tell the difference if you put it side by side. Well, he's got no complaints. There's definitely a cultural bias against eating things like this. But if you're in India, there'd be a cultural bias against eating cows. So I guess to each their own. Very good. You like it, Ben? Mm. So Liz has a full video on how to make uh, enchiladas, homemade tortillas, everything from scratch. You have to go check that out. <laughs> 